Welcome to the Gazelle Pacer Assembly. This is a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to assemble a Gazelle Pacer. Use this as a supplement to the owner's manual and assembly instructions that come with your Gazelle Glider. Bring the Gazelle Pacer package to an open space where you have some room to set up the unit. Now you can remove the box top and all the packing materials. Lay the two frame assemblies and swing arm assemblies on the floor as shown. Make sure the rear frame with the curved tubes is on top and that the cables pass freely above all the frame tubes. Note, be careful you do not allow the cables to get behind the swing arms. Next, remove all the bolts at the bottom of the frame assembly. There are two on the rear frame and two on the underside of the front frame. Then, you can slide the swing arms onto the axle tube and align the axle to properly fit into the frames. At the same time, flip the frame assemblies together at the bottom of the unit. Place the bolts, flat washers and spring washers into each axle and tighten with the wrench provided. Then place the bolts and spring washers into each bottom frame and hand tighten. Use caution when standing the unit up by lifting the axle tube while holding one side of the frame. Be sure the swing cables hang straight down, allowing the cables and swing arms to move freely. Next, open your gazelle to the widest position and then tighten the front and rear frame bolts at the bottom of the unit. Before tightening the axle tube, make sure the screw in the center of the axle tube faces the top of the unit. This will help with proper alignment of the electronics. Tighten the screws on the axle tube ends. For best results, use both wrenches simultaneously to tighten these bolts securely. If you notice any gaps after tightening or extra space in the top crossbar, Use the enclosed spare sea washer to fill the gaps. Do not put the sea washers between the center sleeve and the swing arms. To attach the handlebars, you will need to first remove the bolts and washers from the handlebars. Slide the left and right bars into the swing arms. The handle with the L on it should be in your left hand when you are standing on the unit. The right handle will be in your right hand. Line up the holes and insert the washers and bolts. You can now tighten the bolts with the wrench provided. When the two halves of the swing arm limiter cover are placed together and fastened to the frame tubes, the locking tab will automatically lock together. This view shows the tab on the inside cover. Next, attach the covers to the top and bottom of the frame tube. Make sure all surfaces fit snugly around the tubes. Now you can insert screws in the top and bottom of the swing arm limiter covers and tighten them. Then repeat this process on the other side. To attach the computer, you will first need to press the release tabs on both sides of the computer to separate the top and bottom. Next, install two AAA batteries in the top of the computer housing. Now you can push the magnet cluster over the left section of tubing, then insert the tab on the magnet cluster into the hole in the tubing. Make sure the magnets face in as shown. Then place the bottom case of the computer underneath the bar. Align the top half of the case with the bottom half and snap together. Next, insert the M6 screw into the center hole on the bottom housing and the hole on the bottom side of the axle tube. Tighten the screw. You are now ready to use your Gazelle Pacer.